bouncing ball. Cruz ought to get it. There's the peg for the out. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. We go in the bottom of the seventh. The White Sox, six, Cleveland, two. <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. Better this time. All right, Nancy. Let me hear you. Take me out to the And there is a curveball, strike, strike one. Hell has been on base once. He walked and scored in the fifth inning. He is 0 for 2. He was the first man Shaw faced when Bob came in in the sixth inning with two outs. And he hit into a fourth play. There's a high fly ball out of the short right. Nelson Fox back in the grass. Calls for the ball. He takes it. One out. There's a liner, soft liner back at Bouncing to Fox who drops to Aparicio, hoping maybe Louie can make the play, but he can't. And so, it is an infield single, out back at second base for Baxter. That means that the man coming to bat, Harshman, represents the tying run in the last half of the ninth inning. Ball two, strike one. The line drop hit to right field. Lester held up a moment. Now advances to second. There are Cleveland runners on first and second with one out, and Pearsall is up. The ground ball. Through Fox in the short right. The runners start to move. The bases are full. A hard line drive. Handcuff Nelson Fox. He moved over as quickly as he could. Had he been able to make a clean pickup, it might have been a double play ball. It goes for a base hit. For Pearsall, his third straight. And now with the base and one out, here comes Al Lopez out. Coming in now, Daly. So far, Jerry has won eight and lost four this year. 
He has been in 64 ball games. This makes his 65th relief appearance. He has pitched 113 innings. A crowd of over 54,000 people absolutely rooted to their seats. Riveted to the edges of their seats at Cleveland. WGN Television. Here we go. Power is one for four. An infield single. There's a ground ball. Aparicio has a steps on second. Throws the first. The ball game's over. The White Sox are the champions for 1959. The 40 year wait has now ended. The White Sox have won it. The White Sox have won it. A double play by Louie. He grabbed the ball. He stepped on second. He fired the first. And pandemonium reigns in Chicago. I know. Take those signs. Blow those whistles. And a stunned crowd who had the bases full with only one Angels power at bat a matter of seconds ago is now trying to file its morose and sullen and unhappy and semi-conscious way to the exit pier. The White Sox dugout is crazy. And there is a shot as they go in the dressing room. And we're going to have a dressing room show for you in just a moment. And I'll be back in a moment with a recap on this game.